It's an amazing thing that we're seeing happening at the moment, this complete meltdown of a government whose great selling point was that they were strong and stable in the national interest. We see this very government just falling apart in front of our eyes and falling apart in quite an instructive and interesting way. The people who claim to be the guardians of the nation, the upholders of patriotism, are actually the biggest subversives in the country, treacherously betraying the national interest. The Priti Patel scandal. She was acting effectively as a fifth columnist, engaging under the radar with a foreign state and also with commercial interests within that foreign state and saying, we can mobilize the resources of our own state to help you. I want to transfer foreign aid which the taxpayers of my country are paying in the expectation that it goes to help people who are in dire need. I want to transfer this to the Israeli military, the armed forces of another state. If you or I did something like that, we would be hacked for high treason or whatever the current charge might be. And actually, it's very interesting to what happened with Liam Fox when he was Secretary of State for Defence defense, the defense of the realm. He set up this Atlantic Bridge organization where he was covertly organizing and discussing with people associated with the government of the United States, selling out the national interest. The whole reason we had to leave the European Union, some of the leading figures in the government tell us, people like Liam Fox, was that we had to free ourselves from the yoke of these foreigners who were intruding on our sovereignty. So what's the first thing they do as soon as that vote has been taken? They basically try and sell the whole thing down the river to the United States. And there's Liam Fox going over to the US saying, hey, have the lot. We'll have a trade agreement where basically you can just rip down all our standards just so you can flood the country with chlorine washed chicken and hormone tainted beef. This is a patriot. This is a man who claims to be standing for the national interest, who's defending us against those people in Europe eroding the borders of our sovereignty, basically saying, if you're the US, it's all yours. All this comes to a head with the Paradise Papers because what they have revealed is a whole lot of people who claim to be pillars of the nation subverting that national interest by putting their assets in a secrecy regime overseas to hide it, to evade other forms of national institution. And what makes this particularly interesting is that one of those people is the Queen. When you have the Queen subverting the national interest evading or avoiding the tax collection agency which bears her name, you begin to wonder, what is it we're supposed to attach ourselves to in this country? What is patriotism supposed to be? Is it a flag? Is it a national anthem? Is it meant to be more than that? Isn't it meant to be something to do with the crown, something to do with the government, something to do with the state? Well, we're told by the government that the state needs to be shrunk, that the state is the enemy, that the state is the oppressive force which they're out to destroy. The state can't own anything, or rather, the British state can't own it. The Chinese state can own our assets. The French state can own our assets. Let's look at the nuclear power station at Hinkley that they're building. That's not a problem. It's when the British state owns it that it becomes illegitimate. It's not just the state institutions they're selling off. It's a very fabric of our nation. There's loads of housing stock desperately needed by the people of this nation and the government said, this is just going to go to the highest bidder wherever they might be. And so it invites in the Russian oligarchs and the Saudi oil princes and lets them buy up the very fabric of the nation which we need to live in. How's that for the national interest? And then, of course, at the same time, it's been flogging off the council houses and completely failing to build new ones at anything like the required rate. Basically, housing has just turned into a great big monopoly board. And the thing is that when they set out to destroy the state and its institutions, when they rip down the very basis of civic life, when they, the people who are supposed to be the guardians of those institutions, either wage war against them or subvert them, including by the crowned head of state, then you think, what is there left? What is this country that we're supposed to defend? And when I think about it, I think, well, perhaps the only thing left is the NHS the National Health Service. So what are they trying to do? They're trying to dismantle it.